Oh, <laughs> 2K community is the funniest thing ever, y'all. <laughs> always try to remove some move, man. Always try to take some move out of the game and think you're going to solve something. <laughs> uh, so let's get to the video, y'all. You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi. So you done, no. Your boy brutal sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out, cause you know your boy gonna always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. You know we gotta start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Bruce Squad. Anyone y'all got their notification bell unlocked? Come to the comment section, type first, second, third, know the gang on Bruce Squad. I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all. Much love, much respect. Now, a huge conversation, brood. <laughs> I like to love, I like to use the word brew <laughs> or brewing <laughs> on the internet. It started off here with Cole the Man, of course. And he's talking about quick drops. I know a lot of y'all gonna agree with this, although I do not. I know y'all, a lot of y'all gonna agree with this. He said, in 2K24, quick drops off one dunk package needs to either be removed, slowed down, or should require a 99 dunk rating. Tired of seeing six ones do everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I do apologize for laughing at this tweet. But I'm not really laughing at this tweet. I'm laughing at the community, man. Y'all always think we're moving the animation gun do something. Last year, y'all complained it was too low. They put it up to 80. Now y'all saying take it out the game. Come on, Cooler, man. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Now, I know a lot of y'all going to dislike the video or dislike me because I said it. But it is what it is. Someone got to say it. I don't care if the package is in the game or not. But let's continue. And I will tell you how they could solve this quick drop problem. Because it is overpowered, yes. But I'm going to tell you how they could balance it out, right? Real quick. Stay with your boy. Stay with your boy. Don't worry. I am joking right now. But we're going to get serious in a little bit. But I hate to get serious at the beginning. It's boring. But anyways. Probably streaming. Great name. <laughs> he said. Feels like the dunk meter should be taken out as well. Revert the contacts back to the game. Decides if to give you one or not. What? I can't make this up. Now. A lot of issues people had in the game is because I hear people say throughout the year, oh, the game is RNG, the game is RNG. And now he's making an argument to make the game more RNG, basically saying, take the ability or skill out of dunking. Please remove the meter and give me it by luck. What? Remove, give it, remove me having the ability to initiate the contact when seeing someone is in the lane and just put it there by luck just allow it to play through and if the game decides for this one you give it to me or not what am i reading here and call the man responded and said facts it forces a contact dunk and you don't even have to time it now, I can understand an argument being made for readjusting things with the dunk meter. I can understand an argument for that. But saying to take it all the way out and just put it up to luck? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Tell me this ain't funny. None of y'all can tell me this ain't funny. But let's continue on. Woozier, great name again, y'all killing me with these names. <laughs> he said, How are you gonna remove quick drops? People forget this is basketball. Now, Cole the man responded one time and said, Let's stop comparing 2K to real life because it's nothing close. It's an exploited dunk package that can't ever get blown. Now, I disagree. This is why I disagree with you, Cole. You could get blocked with it but someone got to be in that position before and the dunker can't have hall of fame 
Slithery. <laughs> now, Video Game Take said probably the wisest thing I've seen in this entire trend. He said, it's not quick drops. It's the limitless takeoff badge. If you do quick drops without it on silver, it's trash. It's not necessarily trash, but it's not as overpowered. I always use quick drops. I've always used quick drops on all my 2K. You go back to the earlier 2K and look at my dunk packages. I used to put out quick drops off one has always been there. But somewhere after 2K21, I think that Limitless Takeoff badge dropped. And it now it allowed the overpowered animations in the package to pop up way more frequent. And I think that's the issue with the quick drops off one. But let's continue on. So if you take quick drops out, you still could use MJ or Westbrook for the same animation. Not necessarily the same animations, but animation that will give you similar results. All right. I've been using the Russell Westbrook as well for I'm listen to me. I've been a rim runner extraordinaire for a while now, man. It's something I do, it's something I love doing. It's something I have fun with the game. I just have fun. A lot of people don't want me to have fun no more. <laughs> Now, Zeddy Kane, I can't make it up. That's his name. That's a bar. He said, y'all YouTube N-words <laughs> be the reason the game messed up. I'm censoring everything as much as I can, of course. Y'all complain about everything that don't work in your favor. I've blocked quick drops before. Y'all be sacrificing defense and think y'all supposed to be locks. Be for real, bro. <laughs> Now, you can slow quick drops. Now, the secret to slowing quick drops down is being in the position before. The problem is with quick, quick drops, it initiates so easy and so simple that you really got to be on your stuff, man, to be in the position to take someone out of that animation. Now, if someone is like my 99 driving dunk build and got slithery in Hall of Fame, even if you're there sometime, it kind of push you out the way. But of course, you have to sacrifice a lot for the 99 driving dunk. Trust me, you got to. Now, the way we, we could solve that, that's the last one we're going to cover in that whole conversation, right? Now, of course, the problem is not necessarily the quick drop animation. It's the badge that kind of gives you the ability to activate the overpowered animations at a, at a frequency that's just crazy, okay? And not only that, you could do quick drops out of anything. Like you could literally be doing a crossover and just activate the quick drops. Whereas a quick drop, the dunk package itself, the dunk animation itself should be one that coming out of, a, out of speed and momentum, right? Because when you look at the animation, it's not a difficult dunk. This is why I disagree with the 99 dunk rating. If you're a dunker, like I was, I can't say I am still because I don't play basketball as much, but I used to dunk a lot. Quick drops was one of the first set of dunks I used to do because guess what? I'm glad I could reach the rim. If you look at the quick drop animation, it's run, stretch the rim and pull. Simple. With two hands. Run, stretch the rim, pull. It's a simple dunk. It's run, stretch and pull. That's the basic dunk. The thing is... To do that quick drop, I remember when I just started dunking too, I had to run from way across the court to pick up the momentum and take off. And that's the animation. It should be based around speed and momentum. You shouldn't be able to do a crossover with a defender right there and just quick drop. <laughs> it's not possible. Now, that's where the problem lies. Now, I hope someone from the 2K development team see this video and make that adjustment. But the frequency in which it pops and what it takes to pop it, it's a little bit below there. And of course, the badges, again, the badges, you might be right, Limitless Takeoff probably should be out of the game. And not only that, um, Slittery, <laughs> Slittery, I ain't gonna lie, I love that badge. Please don't take it out. <laughs> Please, I need to rim run. <laughs> but then again, if you take it out, I would probably stand out more like I used to. I've always been a rim runner. I don't care what system is in place. I ain't going to lie to y'all. And I would always be a rim runner figuring out how to get to the rim. Y'all can't stop that. A lot of y'all go out there for real without defense, then complain about how bad the defense is. I see a lot of the bills y'all put out there. No defense. 
And then y'all complain about how bad the defense is. And I see a lot of y'all with defensive build that don't understand that how important positioning is as well. Positioning is the key to defense, especially rim protecting this year. When I go out there with my big, I love it. I love y'all to come and try to dunk on me. I love it because I beat y'all to that position. And guess what? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who wins. Simple. But then again, what do I know? <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. Y'all know what is your boy Sim. You know your boy gonna always put y'all up on game and keep you up to date on everything in the 2K community. If you're first time to the channel, make sure to like the video, share the video, and hit your boy a subscribe. If it's not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's gonna be informed, y'all. Your boy Sim, one love, respect, bless up. Peace.